What's up guys? This is the Brofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Spanish Empire. So to pick up where we left off, we have an opportunity to capture Hanover and destroy Westphalia without having to actually fight any of these armies. If we can successfully, well, we might have to fight a couple of them as reinforcements in this battle if we screw it up. But if we do it properly, we can capture the city and destroy their faction without calling any, any of their reserves. So without further ado, let's attack the city of Hanover and hopefully blow open the western flank of the Austrian Empire because it means that some of our more significant armies we've got on the front near um, Austria, no, near the Netherlands and Cologne, they can drive hard eastward, head, well, potentially southeast towards Munich, but more directly um, east towards Berlin to try and shore up the uh, the center of our new empire because we now have significant amounts of Austrian troops advancing north to counter our advance. So, artillery up front. 21st foot guards going to go straight in the breach backed up by these pikemen and there's going to be three units of infantry we're going to put towards this so let's group them together. Gonna, ooh, maybe two units of foot in the Irish regiment because they are a light infantry unit technically so then let's take our grenadiers our elites our Swiss line actually I might even put my 21st foot guards over here as well because they can well they can scale yeah they can whereas my pikemen cannot so they have to go in the breach my Tresto Gorilla they're going to go in through the front door my Guardia de Corps and my German Crassier are going to be looking for any gaps they can exploit. So let's take them out. So my artillery crack open the the front door. My howitzer is dropping quick climb. Just pretty much attack anyone you choose. Yeah, plenty of enemies to kill. Let's have a, look at, have a look at our 21st foot guard. So they are a infantry unit just armed with swords. And compared to pike units they've got a bit less defense but lots more melee attack and they've got higher morale as well. So yeah I think that works. They're more deadlier killers and they have higher morale but obviously because they're not clad in plate armor like our pikes they have less defense which makes sense I think we're not so bothered about wiping out lots of this cavalry in the center yet we're mostly interested in knocking some holes in the walls and thinning out their infantry forces especially so considering it looks like well I might put one of my howitzers on center duty although are you guys Seemingly doing bad things against my artillery. Hmm. Let's try and start to knock out some of their cavalry, even though it's not a massive problem because we're going to be sending pikes through the breach. Unfortunately, this, these bat well, no, this battery can engage that section of the wall, so we can make a second breach if we want. There we go. So we're going to knock down this section of the wall with one more volley. There we go. So now my artillery focus on this section of the wall. Howitzers start to coordinate our fire a bit more. We don't have any mortars to worry about, which is always nice. Although I probably want to focus on absolutely carpet bombing the breach. You guys might actually focus on this section of the wall. Just because there's troops on the wall. And as we do damage to the wall, we do damage to the troops on it. And we're going to fire before our pikes get into range. Yeah, there we go. Let's 
Infantry, Bear Infantry, Lion Infantry, Bear Infantry, Prince Eisenberg Infantry. Yep, we got a lot of infantry. So I'm going to want one infantry unit to attack on the right flank. My core guard I want to go in directly above the gate. I want an infantry unit ready to occupy the gate. Maybe two infantry units to occupy the gate. Well now I need mass on the walls to be honest. It's potentially a bit dicey what we're doing. Because we haven't thinned out any of their um, any of their troops that significantly well <laughs> present company excluded okay let's start to attack other units because our pikes are going to go in first Then we want our infantry units ready. Fire it will off. Although it looks like not men, not, not all of their. Oh, good! Our Swiss grenadiers are going to get up on the wall uncontested, as are a good chunk of my line infantry. That's always nice. In go our Swiss pikes. They can begin the churn there. So you men hit Prince Eisenberg infantry. Our Swiss Grenadiers can swing to the right. Our core guard are going to attack this Prince Eisenberg unit. They're also going to be supported by infantry from the right flank. In comes the Chug. If we take control of the gate, that would be ideal. But this unit should go down fairly quick because a whole bunch of guys want to climb up there. And then this wall, this wall above the wall here. It says we are losing slightly. You guys, you guys firing? Yeah, stop. Okay, right. Calculated risk here. Attack ground right here. Although, what's the... See if it goes through the wall and kills all these men. Like that. <laughs> God damn, that worked. Hold on. My, my, my pikemen are upset. Significantly upset, but we did a huge amount of damage to them. Lots of our pikemen did go down, though, to be fair. You men attack the Provincial Cavalry. Yeah, our pikes are routed. Bit of a friendly fire. Not such a good call there, I think. But let's run some of our cavalry through. Get my howitzers to begin intercepting some of this. Ooh. Cavalry, exploit the other breach. In a couple of places we do have superiority, so the 9th Regiment are surrounded by infantry. The Provincial Cavalry down there are upset. Our core Guard are going down much faster than I would have liked, but I would like... Okay, you men actually pull... Pull 
pull back, but keep one infantry unit engaged. Cavalry hold back. Let's drop some quick climb on these chaps. We are massing over the walls, which is nice. The enemy cavalry has been destroyed. Let's push a, a, a unit through the, the gatehouse. The 9th Regiment looks like they are going to go down. The 40th Regiment are going to go down because they're trapped between a Swiss line and our foot guard units. Treste guerrillas, get them up on the, the wall. Okay, yeah, they closed the gate behind us. Okay, get the Swiss Grenadiers to transition to fight the enemy over here. To hit an infantry unit in the rear. 40th foot are going down. Our howitzers, let our howitzers clear our way through this section of the wall. It's a lot of troops. I will draw you, Westphalia, as poison is drawn from a wound. Ooh, chug, chug a Lloyd. Chug time. See, normally when you pull troops out of the breach, it helps. No. Attack ground in the breach. There's a whole bunch of guys in there. Cavalry get in. Although lots of the troops appear to be soon out for the count. Be careful though, we are going to be bringing in enemy reinforcements. That should go a good way towards thinning out the herd. Enemy reinforcements are coming in. I don't really want them to be fighting over the... over the centre so openly, but there's not a lot else I can do, apart from hopefully get some of these units protecting the gatehouse to route. They can try and charge some of our units that are down on the ground, but Fortunately, most of them aren't. Get our Swiss line off the wall. Both of you units ignore that last infantryman. Just abandon him. Although you did just you just killed him. Good, we can pour in this breach. Let's halt our fire. Core Guard did take a bit of a hammering in this fight, but let's try and get some of our units off the wall. You men run. Looks like our cavalry is going to be stuck fighting them for a while. You men march to the centre. I mean, you're going to be a bit... It sucks that they get stuck that way. These units haven't, fortunately. Form a unit up to engage the men. Get our Irish regiment to hold the gate. You men need to advance to the centre. So... Yeah, enemy reinforcements coming in. To be honest, I might just run out like this. 
slightly at an angle because their reinforcements are going to go try and uh, their reinforcements are going to try to push through the gate. So get this regiment to just load and fire into the rear of that breach there. Get the Irish regiment to safety. Get all these men off the walls. You men charge the first regiment. Because to be honest, they're probably not going to rout very easily. So just attack them. Yeah, we've got Union of Line Infantry fighting their way down the steps. I'd like you guys to try and take position around some of these guns, but it appears that's around the... Um, you take position manning the cannons, but I don't think that's going to happen. Lots of these units are now wavering. I'm hoping a bit more musket fire will be enough. The first regiment of foot is going to break. Okay, let's pivot you guys like this. So you you can cover both the gate and the both the gate and the um, the breach. Run units one unit straight onto the wall, onto the um, central point. Cause I'm pretty sure we are in a position to protect it now with numbers. Form square. Get out of. Stop firing by firing at will. You men are firing by rank into the rear of the Westphalian position here. Once you fired your last volley, you can charge in. Cease fire the artillery. Yeah, my infantry didn't appreciate some artillery bombardments coming in there. You men form square. Yeah, they're starting a little counter invasion. So we need to kill, we do need to just kill the first regiment because they're not gonna. They're not gonna leave us alone. Units wavering. You men are just useless. No, don't get off no okay good don't leave the wall curiosity air regiment that's a bit dodgy militia unit that's two men strong it's going to continue to try and charge this square even though there's only one man left because his mate got bayoneted you have no bayonet oof Superman. Oh, someone just raise your gun and shoot him. That's what I want to see. Oh. Tried it a bit there. Oh. It's got, he knows what he's doing. He's very, very experienced man, this is. Oh, didn't kill my guy. He's okay. Who's going to get him, though? Oh. <laughs> oh, he killed that guy. There are... This hero, the 11th Regiment, what an absolute beast. Can no one kill this man? <laughs> As they all reload. You men, charge the 11th Regiment, Von Mietlitz Cavalry. Get back to this. This is the important bit here. Let's see who kills this man of the 11th. I mean, granted they're not actually fighting anyone, but... They're just holding the square. <laughs> he just obliterated him. They didn't give one single solitary shit. Oh, they're actually going to—they're invading where my guerrillas are. Yes, good. Yes, AI. That's the best unit for you to attack right now, but. 
doesn't matter. Yeah, that's a good example of what happens when you try and attack a, a fortification without softening them up um, as much as you would like. You experience losses that you would otherwise not have taken when you could have just spent a bit more time dropping quick climb on people. But there we go. So they, these units that came in to reinforce us have been destroyed. Let's reinforce the Royal Palace. Let's replenish our armies. Let's take Benigno Cervante. Bring him over to the east rapidly. This chap can probably swing southeast towards Munich. We want to build a... I don't really want a dockyard there. Bring a sloop over to Cuxhaven. Upgrade this weaver's cottage here. Cologne just about handles us. Let's repair that iron workshop and let's repair that farm. I mean, Westphalia us oh, are they're, they're done for. But I'm not going to attack them because it's in my interest to kind of wait there a bit because then this army is going to come in and take Munich. We're obviously fighting over here in the northern Italy which might be where I focus on next because that's quite a nice incremental gain to take because we haven't got the the treasury to expand our territories too quickly even so much so I might actually have to build two sloops to quickly occupy both these ports. Still blocking the uh, Austrian access into the Med, or at least easy access into the Med. Wanna, yeah, we're in a good defensive position here in the east. You need to replenish before we push on to Zagreb. I probably don't want to push on to Zagreb bef much before... Well, I at least want to take Turin, and I probably need to do some fighting here, but I want to capture Turin this turn. Next turn, after a cash infusion, we can push against... Genoa and Milan. I'd, I could do it now, but I don't have the money. Um, but yeah, let's take Felix Gallas and push against Turin, because Turin is another fairly valuable territory for us to take. Especially when our treasury is somewhat depleted. Capturing these higher tax regions is very much in our interest. How that noise is outside. Some sort of high pitched squeaking. Oh, it might be a sign. Someone with a screw. Screw it, someone with an electric drill. Okay. Let's get our artillery in this fantastic position. Up on the hill. Well, how it says it's going to be firing in, attacking conventionally. So let's combine our light cavalry together on the left. We're going to be advancing the core of our inf infantry through the town under the protection of our field artillery. And we're going to send the heavy cavalry around the right flank. My general is going to observe. So let's pick... Some of our units are going to have to march through the town. It looks like they're quick climbing the bejesus out of the enemy cavalry unit. So much so that they've routed it. Switch our howitzers to round shot. And they can open fire on whomever they wish. So artillery, halt fire, and fire at will. So they pick new targets. Fundamentally, they've not really got quite a... They've not got a very diverse... Um, a diverse army for us to attack. But I just want to make sure they do have... Our artillery engaging relevant targets.
fundamentally there's no showstoppers that should cause us too many problems. We've got some light horse, some lancers, but our heavy cavalry on the left is definitely superior. As our artillery slams home. Okay, where's my my light dragoons? Getting my light dragoons up towards the to face off towards the lancers. Okay, do I start quick climbing? I can hit a regiment of militia with quick climb. Form square. Form square. <laughs> yep. Okay, this big unit hold fire. The 4th Regiment can open up. The 5th Regiment fire it will now. Blam! Charge. These units begin to charge through the town. The regular musket fight has been engaged. Conquistadors advance, a guardia de corps push around the right flank. Hello. A unit of light horse, but we're not gonna chase after them because light horse are only they're light cavalry. Hence the name. And like cavalry just isn't very sturdy. Like to the level that you not you don't really want them fighting anyone with actual uh, capacity to fight back. They're okay to tie units up, but if you want to do more than that, like actually kill troops then that's not the right unit to do it. Our Guardia de Corps are going to aim at the Lancers, field artillery engage the militia, how it's a switch to round shot and engage the garrison provincial line infantry. Yeah my Grandiero de Marina have not been put to good use. Enemy general's been killed. Slam our cavalry into the enemy force that's retreating over here. So there is a cavalry defense, but I mostly want to just to get them into carbine range. See, they say winning slightly, but the problem is, is that we've got good infantry. We can pick them off. They don't have the mass to do what they want to do. Oh, and it's a militia unit that's trying to attack us. How cute. Nope. My infantry beats your militia. So who's left? It's the general's bodyguard, or the drummer. Knock him off his horse. Got him. And these hussars. So ultimately, I think I'm going to speed up time and watch these hussars die. Make sure guard mode's off. But yeah, just... Uh, we're going to pick them off horse by horse. To be honest, I probably could 
bring some cavalry back, but I don't think they're going to like the outcome. Smash! <laughs> there we go. Another incremental victory against the Austrian Empire. Turin is secured. The Great Italian Empire. Let's try and spend a bit of cash replenishing. Then let's go over. So we reinforce Gdansk. So you, Mr. Ettinghausen, will not be able to get a freebie. Konigsberg, let's recruit some... What have we got? 1100. Get some Swiss Mountain Jaeger. You're going to hold your territory for now. Until we get some more reinforcements put in. We've got a general on the line. It all seems pretty good. So they are advancing towards us at Berlin, but we've got a good army here. So if they try with this fragment of a force, even if they're reinforced by this army to the south, they're actually... It's a depleted army. We don't know how much, but it's depleted. That's all we know. Everyone else is advancing quite strongly. Diego de Cordoba. Um, let's advance on Charleston, because after that, we're on to, it's another border with the Cherokee we've got established, but that's what you're about. You're, you are reinforcing, ready to try and push west into Cherokee territory. I mean, it's trying to demand the surrender of Fort Lachata. Okay, fair enough. Well, I might auto that quickly because I I don't want to fight this when there's another fun fight to do. Gives us a good amount of visibility on what's going on. But let's take Mr. Cordoba and attack Charleston with a regular force led by Gordon Washington himself. The Gordon Washington. My God, I've heard of him. I mean, I know we're a bit early for Gordon's less famous brother, but... Uh, I get a kick out of it being called Gordon Washington. But let's see. Let us see. Okay. So our artillery. I'm going to be in this clear ground on the right. Our colonial infantry. Our infantry de marine will be up the front. In the center. Oh god, I got a lot of skirmishes in this fight. Two skirmishes on the right. Solid infantry block on the left. The frontiersman on the flank. I also want my pikes to push up aggressively on either flank. run our pikes up front because it looks like their uh, provincial cavalry senses an easy kill send our skirmishes up towards the enemy backed up by some provincial cavalry frontiersmen hold fire yes they do sense easy kills Quite sure who because my frontiersmen are hidden so my pikemen are going to dissuade them of the notion that they are going to get any sort of easy kills by mowing them down my artillery engage the first regiment of militia u.s volunteers yeah thankfully we cease the artillery fire quickly enough that it did not become a problem. So on the left flank let's advance at speed. It's annoying we've got sound issues as per but maintain the advance. Frontiersmen on the flank. Pikemen push up aggressively. Cavalry push up aggressively. Mount Tribal Auxiliary pushing in for an attack, an actual attack, 
How odd. So there's our pikes on the left. Skirmishes hold fire. Let's divvy up our guns to attack some of these regular line infantry units. You are a new nation, America, but you will not be given the leniency that you wish for. Face off the native warrior auxiliary, you men. Ah, just push back. Engage the native warrior auxiliary. Pikemen charge into the garrison militia. You men pivot to engage the 3rd Regiment. Looks like their centre is breaking, the right is breaking. Later Bowman Auxiliary, engage. Yep. Pikemen engage the militia. Garrison militia unit is going down. Bring my provincial cavalry around to the rear to help try and knock out the second regiment of militia. The third regiment are still engaging. They're advancing. Brave, silly buggers. Pikemen push on to the mounted tribal auxiliary. Pivot our line up. Native bowmen have been shattered. These men are firing into the flank of the Hessian line. My pikes just stood there. Send my skirmishers over to the right. Pivot my line up. Push my pikemen up. The enemy flank has crumbled. I want to try and get my frontiersmen to run past the native auxiliary and into a position here to try and take shots at the armed citizenry. All my artillery is going to engage the general's bodyguard. Charge my pikes into the armed citizenry. Charge you men into the volunteers. You men also engage the volunteers. The pikemen will defeat the armed citizenry. The cavalry can attempt to avoid this cavalry defence. and militia. So we are ratchet ratcheting our way forward, but at a cost. If you can make the Firelock Arm Citizenry route, that'd be great, because I'd run you through the line here. The 8th Regiment of Foot is still holding. To advance the pikemen towards that unit on the right flank. The 8th are still holding in the centre. They're acting as an anchor. Let's get our provincial cavalry back out on the flank because we have an enemy enemy melee unit coming in. An Irish brigade? Why are you not firing? Advance. Pivot the frontiersmen. Let's charge my cavalry in, charge my pikes in against the armed citizenry. We've pushed the 8th off the hill. So let's advance into the town of Charleston itself.
Ugh, it's going to be not quite as efficient as I would like. Yeah, so my provincial cavalry have hit the armed citizenry, but I really need my pikemen in there to deliver the knockout blow. The third regiment have been taken out. You men secure that part of the city. You men can advance through the city like so. You men cease fire because you were engaging the armed citizenry. Oh, tribal auxiliary unit returned. Very well. Go get him, colonial infantry. In fact, let's send the other colonial infantry unit back because it looks like the left flank is rather dominated. Let's push our infantry through the town. Secure a new flank against the enemy. Run my provincial cavalry back. Run my pikemen back. Allow my frontiersmen to fire at will. Yeah, shots all over the place. With my pikemen over here, fire lock arms, citizenry should be destroyed in a fairly conclusive battle. The second regiment of line still holding on but I'm afraid through the smoke and misery of battle they are not long for this world. Their lack of advanced firing drills the end is near keep pushing up Flanks secured. Sorry, G sorry, George Washington. Not George Washington, Gordon Washington. You will be our prisoner, and your republic will forever be a dream. The might of the Spanish Empire is too much. Skirmishers just picking away the far off arm citizenry. Granted, there is a cavalry unit right here. Hey, Gordon came back. Foolish Gordon. The 23rd already. The skirmishers have, have knocked out, have, have done a devastating blow. Oh, okay, they're attacking the tribal auxiliary and they killed a bunch of their own guys, I see. There we go. Gordon's off again. He's had enough. Hurrah. So ends. The United States of, Amer of America to be replaced by a greater empire. A stronger empire. The Spanish Empire. Again, we can't do anything to fix this territory up. Because we don't have any money. Uh, but soon the end will be here for the Cherokee. Because we'll have three armies. One that can take Georgia, one that can push through their main territories, one that can take Lower Louisiana and swing east. And soon all of the eastern United States will be ours. I think that's everything we can do, realistically. Because you guys, you could do stuff, but I'd like them, I'd rather they moved out and tried to attack us and we could intercept them and push them back. Same over here really, but I want to knock out these two territories before I push here. I mean like Venice would be quite easy to grab, but I don't want it. I want them to have a way out. I don't want to encircle them so much here. I want to try and keep a fairly coherent front as I advance. Okay, let's hit end turn. Our agents continue to push. Nope, simply siege Milan for now. 
Do not attack. Yeah, the army that sieged Williamsburg is licking its wounds. Got to make a call, Austria. We're coming in from all directions. They're building up near Stuttgart, so it looks like they might try and attempt to save their allies. That's the kind of engagement I was looking for here under Miguel Capitillo. And we'll have a, new, a freshly recruited force from Madrid with a Terrestre de Navarra, irregulars. Nothing too earth-shattering here. Let's take them out. So because we've sieged Milan, the Milan garrison will not isn't going to be able to come into their aid. So that was quite useful. So this should push their garrison east, and that will leave Genoa exposed and susceptible to a surrender once our army marches on the city. I think that I think they will likely accept such a such a deal. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. No nowhere good to mount our guns so we are going to advance up to this raised section here i might put a Ooh, i might even put my guard artillery up front because they'll advance quicker i mean up on that hill is the natural spot but i don't like it let's put a conquistador up there First of all, let's have a look at our Coro Terrestre de Navarra. They look like um, guerrilla mercenaries with slightly different colouring. They look pretty good. So I want to put... Because it looks like this area is not traversable, so I'd like my guerrillas to be... up front, here. As a, uh, a breakwater for the enemy. So let's advance a packet of troops up the right flank. Let's advance a packet of troops up the left flank. Again, they'll also be protected by artillery. My curiosity are going to support the infantry on the right. My guardia, guardia de corps, are going to push on the right flank. General in the centre. Okay, so our right flank is going to become even more important than planned because that's where the enemy reinforcements are coming in from. To be honest, this line infantry unit is going to advance ahead of the guns. Ooh, looks like there's a, there's actually a lot of duff terrain here. Let's push my infantry down out of the bottleneck. Even advance, get this artillery. To be honest, that's... If I can get these men up on the hill... Get the guns up on this hill... My Conquistador and my Curassier plug any gaps... The gorillas aren't going to be great up here... Unlimber the guns. Oh, I didn't even deploy my howitzers. Kind of not that useful though. It would be useful to take that section of the hill. To be honest, my horse guard artillery would be better up there because they could more, f quick, more speedily gallop up. So you are going to provide some immediate support. Although you're actually focusing on their artillery. Which might actually not be a bad idea. Oh, my gorillas are out of range. So let's try to get them down off of the 
slope, maintain the advance of my infantry on the right flank. I hear a cavalry charge. It's only provincial cavalry though. Conquistadors are going to level a volley at the general's bodyguard. My curiosity, yeah, if these Conquistador can reload, they'll put a volley into the Missars. Nope, advance. Get you men out of line, out of square and form line. They want to try hit my light infantry. Smash them into my light infantry. Smash them into their heavy infantry. My guns aren't going to be useful in this game at all. Conquistador engaged the provincial cavalry. Enemy general has been killed. You're just pretty much trying to tie up the line infantry. How it's so can try and engage a line infantry unit. Okay, one infantry unit charge down the hill towards the guns. I want to try and hit the infantry. I want to try and hit the cavalry, sorry, not the infantry there. These guys, I'd like to get them out firing on the flank. Good shot there. Ugh, not so happy about that Hussar unit, because that's ripe to come back. They've only lost 40 Hussars. Guns, 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 irregulars. Charge the irregulars first. Get my heavy cavalry to smash the Swiss Grenadiers. Their infantry force here has quite conclusively been destroyed. I'm okay to sacrifice these Conquistador to chase down those Hussars. It's a, a good trade. So then drop into square because the cavalry is coming in. Okay, pivot these two units back like so. Run the cavalry out of there. Yeah, they want to charge. New men fire at will, pour a good volley into the flank of the 45th Regiment of Militia. Oh, Militia Regiment coming in, that's not quite what I had in mind. Demi cannons on the move. Okay, that cavalry unit's routed to bring our conquistador back. Send our cuirassier in to attack the demi cannons. Let's pivot another unit of infantry there. You plus the lights. To be honest, you guys just attack the yeah, the unit down on the f down over there's routing, which is fair enough. Let's 
So send everyone forward. You men can mop up the second light horse. That would be very beneficial. And let's send our infantry, or pivot our infantry over like so. Okay. Pivot far into the flank of the Lambert militia. The provincial cavalry's charging in, but they're going to hit a Swiss Guard square, which they're not going to like at all. The Guardia de Corps can make the Grenadiers route, that would be an exceptional outcome. To be honest, lots of our howitzers don't really have much of a target. Continue to engage the Grenadiers. They have now routed. So you men can annihilate the second regiment. I'm pretty sure that's probably my own... Well, a good chunk of that will be my own guns doing stuff there. Keep engaging the Fusiliers, you keep engaging the Swiss Grenadiers. I mean, to be fair to the 2nd Regiment of Militia, they're holding on a lot longer than I would have thought. But not long enough. Now my guns have finally made it to the top of the hill. If you can knock out those grenadiers, that'd be a great outcome for you guys. Everyone likes killing grenadiers. I mean, I know they'll just recruit them back at some point, but... Got them. Yeah, those fusiliers probably don't like getting shot at. Howitzers are out of range of pretty much everything. Give my new gorillas are up and amongst the trees. Hopefully they open up against the enemy. They shouldn't uh, have too much trouble dispatching them. It's another militia unit. Granted a very cool looking militia unit, but a militia unit nonetheless. Charge them into the Fusiliers and run some units around the flank. Yep, here they come. Because they are, yeah, they are just Fusiliers, so... Good warriors in the musket line, but... In a melee, they leave something to be desired. Hey, my guns are in position. Volley fire. There go the fusiliers. Yes. Yeah, my curiosity air can continue. Can try and kill that fusilier unit. Fairly sure this is the uh, the end for the rest of their empire. As the musket balls are whipping across the grass. My artillery's fired its first shots. <laughs> there goes the general.
Oh dear, oh dear. Very, very messy battle, but again, we're not we're not so worried about blitzkrieging across northern Italy. Okay, so they won't um, surrender with an army right behind them to protect them. Ooh, the Milan garrison is sallying. That's a f that would be an interesting battle. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for Santos Reyes to withstand the sally from Milan. There's lots of marines here. Um, so we're going to want to use our one howitzer unit um, quite efficiently. Radio. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed.